Hello, welcome back to Dr. Coaches. Uh, today is number 13 and we're going to talk about the teaching stations, okay? The teaching stations are going to be a bit different in the type of format that we're going to use because it's very important that you connect with this, the student or the nurse. It really depends on what the prompt says. That way you don't introduce yourself as I'm Dr. Rennie. You introduce yourself as a colleague or someone uh, who is at the same rank as the person that you're talking to. So you usually start with the initial steps, you start with the grips and uh, you confirm that you're speaking to the person uh, who you're supposed to be speaking. They're usually going to be either a student or a nurse. After that, you're going to start your teaching station uh, giving a bit of information. Remember, it's important not to give that much information in a whole go, just a few facts and then check for the understanding so that the student or the nurse uh, can repeat it back to you and you can make sure that they understand what you have explained in the first place. After that, you're gonna ask a few questions just to make sure that they understand and also ask them if they have any questions about the topic. They will usually give you a few questions back so you can expand on their knowledge or, uh, well, you can ask them some extra questions just to make sure that they understand. And after that, you can invite them to do either the procedure or explain back to you whatever you have told them. Okay, when you're giving the feedback, you can ask what do they think that they did good and they will answer and after that you can ask what do they think they could do better and that way it can be a type of constructive uh, conversation so that you can um, understand what they know and also ask a few extra questions just to make sure that they understand. Okay, so for the teaching stations, uh, you kind of have two different types. Some of them are about examinations or procedures where you're explaining the procedure uh, to the student or the nurse. And you can also have another type which, which is just general knowledge, for example, an ECG. So for example, if you're doing uh, an examination and it's actually a teaching station, it's very important that you read the prompt to make sure you're doing the right station. So if you're doing a cervical smear, this is a type of procedure but it can also be a teaching station. So you involve the student, you ask them if he has ever done it before, if he has ever seen one too. And that way you also explained what the procedure will be, uh, what are the things that you need to watch out and ensure the privacy for the patient. And then you can explain the rest of the procedure as if you were doing an examination station, just teaching the students. Another very common station is the BLS station. You can have a different prompt. So at the moment that you enter the station, you have to be sure what your plan is and how you're gonna explain it to the student or the nurse. In a BLS station, it's very important that the amount of information that you give to the student is short and it's also reflected. And you have to check his understanding on small pieces of information, not giving an entire three minutes of information, but making it a conversation. Okay, thank you for listening. This is day number 13 here at Dr. Coaches. Today we talked about teaching stations. And if you ever have any other questions that you want to talk with us or have any doubts from what we have talked about, please do tell us and we will be happy to help.